Hello everyone, welcome back to Josh of Many Things. My name is Josh and I like many things. Today we're continuing the tavern build uh, by making these folding uh, rope chairs. Um, it's a super simple build and so just uh, follow along and uh, shouldn't be a problem. I got three of them to make. Starting off, I've pre-cut my 1x2s. I'll need three cut at 18 inches, one cut at 16 and a quarter inches, four cut at 25 and a half inches, and a 5 8 dowel rod cut at 18 inches. I'll find a bit that is the same size as the dowel rod. Drill a hole through the middle of the 25 and a half inch pieces. Here I'm checking the fit and making sure that the legs spin freely. Next I'm marking out where to cut out the seat supports at the top of the legs. I want these to sit tight and flush. That's it, time to assemble. I'm placing two legs on either side of the dowel rod and gluing the outermost legs so they don't move. A single nail is all that's needed to keep this piece secure. I place the chair down on a flat surface to make sure the other legs are lined up before gluing and nailing the other side. And 
now it's time for the seat supports. Here I need to be sure to place the correct supports into the correct legs. The 18 inch piece fits into the outer leg cutouts and the 16 and a quarter inch piece fits into the inner leg supports. I'll glue and nail these in place as well. I forgot to record it, but I've made a mark four and a half inches from the bottom of the legs. And now I'm gluing and nailing the last two 18 inch pieces right on the line I made. And while I didn't show it, I rounded the bottom of the legs as well. This is supposed to help with uh, keeping the legs from splitting at the bottom and also just makes it a little bit more stable. This part is probably optional, but I like the look of the jute twine. I'm going to be wrapping the seat supports with this. I feel like it adds a rustic look as well as a bit of friction for the rope in the next step. On to the seat itself. My choice for these chairs is this half inch all natural fiber rope. Since it's a natural fiber, I recommend using gloves when handling it, as splinters are a common problem. For the seat, I'm doing a basket weave. It's simple and it doesn't take much time to weave. Okay, there we have it. Uh, we are all finished. As you can see, the measurements I gave put you right at what I think is the correct height for a table. Um, there's two different ways you can do the weaving. So as you can see with this one, uh, it's got a very tight weave. I spent a lot more wraps going around the first way uh, before doing the basket weave back and forth. And here on the second style, I did fewer wraps uh, going across and then did the basket weave after that. Uh, so obviously, I mean, uh, it's pretty much up to, up to you on how you want to do it. Uh, it doesn't really do much in terms of stability or comfort. The, the first way uses the full 50 foot length of rope uh, with a little bit of a tail end left over. The other way uses probably about 35 to 40 feet of the 50 foot rope, uh, maybe even a little bit less than that. Um, so I ended up using the, the second method uh, just to save on material cost for the most part. Uh, all in all, I think these chairs cost somewhere around 
uh, maybe $20, $25 to make one. I think you need two uh, eight foot uh, one by twos. I think they're around six or seven dollars a piece. The rope itself is I think six dollars at Harbor Freight for a 50 foot strand and then the jute twine is something like two or three dollars. Um, the stain is something I already had on hand so um, it's what I've been staining all of my all of my wood with. Uh, it's a stain and a wood hardener and water repellent so that's kind of what I, why I used it. Uh, but yeah that's it. I appreciate everybody watching along. If you want to see how I built this table I'll put a link to it um, in the description as well as as the end title card uh, but yeah we are ready to go I will catch all of you next time bye